You know, I quit trying my best to quit talking about politics because it always gets me in trouble. So this ain't really about politics. This is about uh, mathematics, um, county mathematics. It seems that the county commission is going to vote this evening to borrow $500,000. That's almost a half a million, you know. Now, uh, to go along with that, somewhere around the $80 million we already owe, and they're going to use this for probably a good project. I'm not knocking that. I, but but, but <clears throat> what I can't understand is why we're borrowing a half a million dollars when it just seems like last week or week before last we had money to burn. Had $171,000 we didn't know what to do with. Now, I'm thinking 171 from 5, that's 329000 instead of 500 but... What's a few hundred thousand dollars among friends? What really bothers me, though, is that I remember hearing just, just recently, this was in the last week or two, that this, this $500,000 we're borrowing, which we've managed to get down from $800,000, wasn't going to cost the taxpayers a cent. So I'm wondering who's paying this half a million dollars back? If it's a county commission that's paying it back, well, I want to thank them. If it's a taxpayers, I want to know how they count. And, and one other thing, whoever kidnapped Cliff Jennings and sent in this imposter, we, we want to, I mean, this is, he's getting a good name from, from, from this, and, and I don't understand it because where was this doppelganger at when we needed him in the fall? You know, the same guy that uh, uh, helped raise taxes nearly 40% in one fell swoop? This can't be the same guy, so we want our cliff back, the one we all know and love. And I'm going to work on figuring out how somebody else is going to pay back that half a million dollars and it ain't going to cost the taxpayers anything. And why in the world we're borrowing money anyway when we've got more than we need? And you know, them roads that needed paving last year and year before last, they still need paving. They're going to need paving five years from now and three weeks from now. They're always going to be there. This new stuff we take on, like pouring sand in the lake and all this year stuff that we could actually avoid, uh, could be avoided and people could have roads to drive over. And I hate to see you come whining and crying back in about four or five years and need another tax increase because we all know we're rich. And one bit of advice for the upcoming Independence Day, don't shoot all your firecrackers at the same time. Where's the off button?